My name is Richard Capobianco. The last uh, three or four years, I've been much more serious about understanding my family history. And I thought that I would do some research myself, which I did try to do. But I quickly found that this is a very difficult, very complicated process, and that I really needed the help of a professional to do this right. And that's when I decided to look for a professional genealogist. I'm Margaret Fortier, and I'm a professional genealogist. Well, when I decided that I needed a professional genealogist, I really did not know exactly where to go. So I went to a website, and I don't recall the name of the website, but it was a list of all professional genealogists. And I uh, looked through it, and the first thing I was looking for were the proper credentials. I wanted someone who had professional credentials. But then I was also looking for someone in the Boston area, and also someone who had uh, some expertise in Italian family history and Italian family documents. So uh, as I was looking through this list, uh, I saw Margaret's name and uh, it looked like just the very thing that I was looking for. When I contacted Margaret, she was agreeable from the outset. And so that, that really sealed the deal. When Richard first contacted me and talked about his project, the first thing I did was to determine what he already knew and what he was trying to find out and to assess whether that was um, a reasonable goal. The goal that I was after was to try to confirm some of the stories that I had heard from my parents. I know where to look for the records. And after I find that initial set of records, I know what the next set of records should be to accomplish the goal. And beyond that, and probably even more important than that, is when I get the record and review the record, I can interpret the record and I can extract all the clues out of it uh, and identify everything that's pertinent for the client. Well, uh, when I initially talked with Margaret about the project, I was very confident that she really knew her way around uh, the archives and, and the, the sources uh, that um, you know, she would need to, to find out this information. So I would say from the beginning, I was very confident that she had access to all the uh, kinds of documents that were needed. She would send me emails asking for a little bit more information or if I had another document and I tried to come up with whatever I, I could find. I didn't have a lot of material and which makes uh, the results all the more remarkable to me because she was able to find out much more than I was able to provide her. When I found the answer for Richard, for each report, because there were two, two phases of the project, I provided the information in the report and um, then we were set up to talk about it. Well, when I received the report, I was just astonished at the detail that she was able to come up with and the, uh, the number of sources and documents that she was able to, to consult. Uh, she had also made copies of many of those documents. She provided images uh, of the area in Italy, but also images of uh, certain documents that she had found uh, in the New York area. My parents uh, and my grandparents uh, settled in uh, the New York City area. I was just astonished at the detail uh, that she had provided in the report. But I would say that Margaret's project really exceeded that goal and that aim. I learned so much more, so much more. Well, what made this such a wonderful experience is, first of all, uh, 
you know, I come to know my family history so much better, but working with Margaret, I mean, Margaret knows my family history <laughs> as well as I do now. And so naturally there's a connection there. And I always got the feeling that uh, she felt that was important for me to know. Sharing the joy of discovery and the connection that the client feels with his ancestors. That's, that's just the best. My advice to anyone who's interested in learning more about their family history is to most definitely seek out a professional genealogist. I mean, I'm an educated person. I thought that I could uh, do some of this on my own. And I found that that's just not possible. One really needs a professional to do this kind of work. And so if at all you're interested in knowing the, uh, the, the history of your family, there really is no alternative uh, but to hire a professional genealogist.